Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is gonna be part two. I still don't think I'm gonna finish it yet. Uh, because I'm pretty sure this is still pretty long. Uh, but let's see.
probably gonna be like a bunch of loot here, maybe. Use this. I stand for corrected. Or maybe behind this door there is. I have a weird feeling that that w that door Over right behind here. me should take me to the mechanists. Well, just the me mechanist, probably. Scan this. Over here. This is kind of sad. Hmm. So these ro so these robots were here before before any of this happened because there's just normal people too. Those people aren't ghouls like that woman that we just saw and the soldier that was near the that was near the push cart thing, the robot cart, whatever thing. Um, that must have happened. Well, it happened before it. Oh yeah, and FYI, uh, there was a button uh, right behind me as I was walking up the stairs. Uh, if you, it's not actually a button, it's more of like a lever. Uh, if you press that, if you pull that lever down, um, uh, all the doors will open so you don't have to like pick lock everything. That's what I did at first, but then I stopped. So it looks like this is part two, well, of the lair. I think I just got finished with the first floor. Now I'm going to the second floor. It's still kind of creepy because like, they're using test subjects brains to move things and that thing is creepy. Wait, do I see a brain? Or is that just me? Usually if it's in a glowing... <gasps> oh! I think it is, guys. Oh, it is brains! Oh! Oh my god, they're everywhere! This is like a sperm bank! Holy crap! So that... So then that machine inserts the brains into the... Into the machines or whatever that's that's creepy
Anise Ciroletti, Chief Scientist. This is the third time I've had to request more security. As thorough as our assembly procedures may be, there's a human factor to be considered. These are criminal and unstable minds. It can't be a scientist's job to ensure each test subject is properly sedated. I was promised military assistance and security, but we need more. I won't allow my crew to be endangered. As fascinating as it may be to integrate the human mind with robotics, sometimes I wish I never signed on to this project. That's kind of creepy. Well, wait a second. What? Oh yeah, that's right. These things were after the war because they wanted these things on the front lines of the war, basically. Plus, they were testing on ghouls, too, so... All this stuff here is pre-war, so... They knew this type of technology and they weren't sharing it with us, basically? So you're telling me that this is kind of like an insane asylum? Kinda? I guess that's what you would say. Uh, I'm not sure. Um...